Now you might be wondering why we're doing this by hand. Um, I'm actually doing this by hand today because as you can see, the ground is saturated. We had a lot of rain and it's a nice day out. I'm taking advantage of it because I need to get this post in. I'm gonna put the post in, but I'm not hanging any fence today. I'll wait until it dries up so that the, actual, the posts are settled good and solid. Um, right now with the ground being kind of wet, it won't be that solid. And if you try to hang fence on it, it can lean your T-post over. Now there's also gonna be corner posts that are added. So there'll be another corner post that's gonna be put in between those so I can pull off of it. And then there's gonna be uh, a wood post approximately every 150 to 200 feet, depending on what I feel like is really required. Sometimes more is required, sometimes less is required. It just kind of depends on the ground you have. And then last but not least, we will uh, do a few more fence lines and then we'll start doing the interior. Right now I just want to get this split in half and then I want to get, basically I'm gonna make a T and then I want to do my perimeter fencing on my hay field so that I can keep them out of there. Who needs a gym? However, if you're looking for a gym, I'll make you a hell of a deal on a membership. Monthly and I'll find all the chores and work you can you could possibly want in a month. You know how everybody goes to the gym and they're like, oh man, I did this many sets at this weight. Well, here at the farm, we measure a little different. So I've got three sets of 200 feet of fencing. This is how it works. And it's a total body workout. You feel it in your arms, your back, your shoulders. Newborn, right there. I'm probably pointing in the wrong area, but you can see the mama. Her legs look brown, but they're really red from blood. Gave birth to twins, but unfortunately one of the, I didn't catch it in time, but one of the twins was still wrapped in the, um, oh, in the bag that's, I don't know what the technical term is, but anyways, it's still wrapped up and uh, unfortunately it suffocated before I had seen it and was able to get it open. It's pretty tough to get open. Tube feeding is a, is a last resort for us. I mean, she was so hypothermic that she couldn't, oh, you guys are probably, that better? She was uh, borderline hypothermic. She really didn't have, I mean, she'd suckle on my finger, but it was so weak that it's just not worth risking it. Because what'll happen is if you try to give them a bottle and they can't, and they're not strong enough, the, they'll suckle the bottle in but they won't swallow properly and what will happen is that fluid that they suckle in will sit in their throat but if they don't swallow instead of it going into their stomach what will happen is it'll end up going into their lungs and then they'll have pneumonia she has a weird fur um, we have a couple that are like this we had one that was born like this last year where it has barely any fur and you can see its skin and everything. Um, it's just uh, almost like Velcro. It's very strange. 
So that doesn't help either because I'm sure she gets cold easier. So this run of fence here is almost done. We still have more fencing that needs to be taken down. That'll be shown in the next video. And then once that is down, we will add the other portion of fence that needs to be put up that's going to separate our hay field from the paddocks. If you'd like to continue to watch the rotational grazing plan that we have take like effect, please subscribe to our channel. Press the like button. And you can even share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And if you like the channel, subscribe to the channel. Finally!